Rissa Primary School in St. Andrew is in mourning after one of its students was killed by a JUTC bus on Friday. The grade 4 student, Javon Elliott, fell from the moving bus in Gregory Park, St. Catherine. TVJ's Kalisha Williams has this primetime news follow-up. This woman placing flowers at a desk where Javon Elliott sat during class. Students wrote colourful messages in tribute to their classmate. He always walk home with us every time and we buy things together and we laugh, we make jokes. I feel very ex extremely sad because he was my best friend. The grade 4 student died on Friday while he fell from a JUTC bus and was crushed under the wheels. Members of the canteen staff were among those who had fond memories of little Javon. Miss Collett told us it's hard to imagine the lunch bell ringing and not seeing Javon standing in line. We are curry chicken in eat. We are curry chicken. And to call it a curry we want. We say you eat too much curry, man. And if you sometimes you come here and stand up if I don't see my next curry, I'm be able to don't see my so call it to Jebu here. I'm son of you everybody get lunch before I'm collecting lunch. Every ten o'clock is teacher. Send him to me with his lunch number, with the lunch number for the children, and he would say bye. And we miss him, and it's a awful death for our little one. Inside the staff room, a team from the education ministry providing counseling for teachers and students. Principal for the school, Owen Speed, lauded their initiative, but he's concerned about how the child's mother is coping with the trauma. The mother must have been going through a really rough patch, a really rough time because Javon lost his father a few years ago and it must be really difficult. So we are in touch with the parent, the, the mother, and we are trying our best to see what we can do from our side of things to help to make it a little easier on her. A representative from the communications arm of the JCF says the driver of the JUTC bus has been warned for prosecution and released. He had been taken in for questioning by the St. Catherine South Police on Friday. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.